What's up, everybody? My name is Jason, and welcome to Breaking News. Congress steals $17.5 billion of the targeted idle advance. It is Monday, August the 2nd, 2021. Please do me a huge favor. Give this video a thumbs up. Hashtag EIDO with your comments below. And you may see World War III as we speak on Twitter at Try Small Biz. That's at Try Small Biz where I'm going to fucking bury every single one of those bastards that I've been tagging for the last several months. Because ladies and gentlemen, we just learned in an 11th hour rewrite of the bill last night, they not only screwed the small business owner, but also the entire healthcare industry, where Chuck Schumer told them three days ago they were not going to raid that cookie jar. So ladies and gentlemen, grab a cup of coffee, ice cold beer, glass of wine, whiskey on a big rock, and whatever the hell else you feel like drinking on this Monday afternoon. Here we go. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Carol Roth has a book called The War on Small Business. How the federal government used the lockdowns to destroy guys and gals like you and me. There should be no fucking doubt in your mind, if there ever was any, that these cocksuckers don't give a shit about you or me. Period. Big business runs this country, and that's the bottom fucking line. And two-thirds of that infrastructure deal is nothing but a payoff for 2022 and 2024, because we just learned. And forgive me, as I'm a bit irritated as we speak, and I'm trying to decipher lawyer language, but this much I do know based on folks I've talked to in the last hour. There is $27.5 billion left after six months yesterday of the targeted idle advance. They have funded about 314,000 people, an average of $8,000 for a total of about $2.5 billion. They're stealing $17.5 billion for the infrastructure deal, which they said they were not going to do. We knew they were going to take loan money. They've had a pile of $260 billion. We knew $60 billion was going to go to the Entree Act, which is $60 billion more for the Restaurant Revitalization Fund that's out of uh, Blaine Lutenmeyer is, uh, in the House. We knew that. We also heard there was possibility of another $50 billion of a new round of PPP for smaller business owners. That still would have left $150 to $175 billion. But based on a quick read of this and what I also see on Reddit, they're taking about half of the loan money, <clears throat> excuse me, and $17.5 billion of the targeted idle advance. So what does that mean to everybody who's looking at me right now? Well, middle and high income communities, we knew we were fucked for the last nine months. We needed a change in the law, and that's what I've been fighting tooth and nail for over the course of the last 16 months, in fact. Well, the nail has just been put in that coffin, but they still have $10 billion of targeted idle advance. So if you're in a low income community, do not fret. But I also have to say this, if there's $10 billion and they've only spent two and a half billion, what the hell are they gonna do with the other $10 billion? Personally, I think they're gonna open it up to about 1.2 million, which is gonna be four times the ones that have already gotten funded through six months. So there's a very strong possibility they're going to give 1.2 million people in middle income. That, that gets me out because I'm in high. First come, first serve. There's no fucking way they're going to get through another $10 billion. They've only funded two and a half through six months. So if you're in a lower middle income or a middle income community member and you really want, as part of this round of funding, a chance at 10 grand, that hope is still alive. But... If you're in higher middle income or you're a high income community member like myself, it's going to require a new law. Now, I'm a glass half full guy. This could be exactly why Jackie Rosen, who I said both her and John Cornyn should be fired, thrown out of office. Make sure if you live in Nevada or Dallas, Texas, you light up their fucking phones and you let them know how you feel about them raiding the idle advance cookie jar. However, there could very well be an agreement that once this behemoth goes through, don't forget, President Biden has three and a half trillion dollars of reconciliation, meaning they've got another social program coming that is not going to require an ounce of Republican vote. There could be inside of that, I don't know, 
a provision for middle to high income, or Jackie Rosen's bill, which again is only $15 billion. If you're going to spend without any Republican votes, which means they can spend whatever the fuck they want on whatever they want, there's no reason why. They can't slide $15 billion in there because Jackie has to know. And she's a very nice woman, in my opinion, although she has let us down, and so has Big Ben fucking Carden and Chuck Schumer, the entire uh, lot. should be on the chopping block. That's probably the nicest way I can say it. So folks, here's the deal. If you're looking for 24 months of working capital, relax. There's more than enough money. I'm gonna read something to you here. I'm gonna pin a couple of things in the top, including the bill, which is 2,700 pages long. It shows you on page 2453, Section 90007, 90,007, rescission of COVID-19 appropriations. Inside there, you're going to see $17.5 billion that was taken away, leaving $10 billion for the targeted idle advance. Doesn't appear that they touched the $4 billion that's still there for the supplemental. It's very tricky with how much they're taking with respect to the loan, but again, this should not affect $2 million loan caps and your ability to get 24 months of working capital because there's well over $100 billion and they've only spent in terms of 24 months of working capital, a couple of billion dollars. So in my estimation, to get upwards of 2 million people in total, another 24 months, it wouldn't take more than 30 to a maximum of $50 billion. Said another way, if you're looking for the loan, you got nothing to worry about. If you're looking for a grant and you're in a middle to high, which we've pretty much known now for several months, we're fucked unless they slide it into this reconciliation, which is three times the size of this bill in the next two weeks. So if I haven't lost everybody by now, and if you want to throw me under the bus, that's fucking fine too. I'll keep swinging the bat until I can't swing it any fucking more. On page 2,453, it talks about the amount rescinded pursuant to paragraph this and that. $17.5 billion, but they also, with respect to health care, where the hell is that? Please bear with me. All right, this is where it's true. This is where the health care industry just got fucked after Chuck Schumer basically lied to him, but that's typical. They did the same thing with the uh, CARES Act and the American Rescue Plan. There's always a last minute rewrite where they fuck somebody a little harder than, than someone else just to buy votes. That's all it is. Economic Injury Disaster Loan Subsidy, rescission of the un unobligated balances, meaning if you're already in the queue and you're low income or they're still not, they haven't, don't worry about it. They got $10 billion plus left over. They've only spent two and a half billion through six months. If you're a low income member and you suffered a 30 or 50% loss, you still get up to 15 grand. If you're a middle income member, and they do a first come first serve. There's enough money left there for about 1.3 million or four times as many as they've already funded because they're never going to get it by buying or uh, mailing people that live in low income communities. They're never going to give it all away. Uh, rescission of unobligated balances from the amounts made available under the heading of Small Business Administration Disaster Loans Program Account Entitled to blah blah and of the protection Paytex Protection Program and Healthcare Enhancement Act. $13.5 billion is permanently rescinded. Now, this is where I'm also going to pin a Reddit article. There's someone in that I've followed for quite a while that's very sharp. He talks about how that's not really just $13.5 billion. Uh, he goes on to say, uh, all right, where the hell is it? If I remember correctly, Congress authorized $50 billion last year as the base subsidy. Notice I said a subsidy was just rescinded with respect to the loan, not the targeted advance, the loan. The base subsidy, according to this guy, was $50 billion last year, which translates into somewhere between 350 to 400 uh, in, in loan funds available. So the rate at seven to nine times the base. I know that sounds tricky, but let me finish. If they're removing $13.5 billion from the base section of 90,007A1, that removes somewhere between 94.5 and $121 billion from the pool of total loanable funds available. So as of yesterday or this past week, they had between 255 and $260 billion of available unspent idle loan money. Based on this gentleman's breakdown, and I happen to believe what he's trying to say, 
they're taking somewhere between 94 and 120 billion, which would leave at least 125 or 30 billion dollars left over of unspent idle loan money. That is double, maybe even triple, based on my math to get upwards of 2 million people up to $2 million in loans. So look, if you're looking for $2 million caps, I don't think that's not gonna, I, I don't think that's gonna be taken away from you. If you're in the queue or you're just now applying for 24 months, they've got well over a hundred billion, no matter whose math you use. The most disappointing thing that I have, and I don't wanna go on any further today, I wasn't supposed to do a video. Hey, I, I, who cares about you? It's about fucking me. I was not. I was, I'm dressed slightly different, right? I'm going to a fucking meeting. But I wanted to be the one to fucking bear the bad news, right? We've been here together as a fucking small business family for the last 16 months. And these cocksucking motherfuckers shove it right up your ass once again. But... Being the glass half full guy, if I'm Jackie Rosen and John Cornyn, who's going to get a fucking earful from their constituents in the next mm, 72 hours? I'm thinking, what are we going to do to soothe the fucking wound that we just gave to the small business owners? Because she put forward a bill, don't you forget, not too long ago for another $5 billion for the smallest of small businesses on PPP. Suddenly she hasn't said a word about that. She hasn't said a word about fucking S513 for the last five months. Now we see 17 and a half, leaving 10 billion of the targeted idle advance taken, still over 100 billion of the loans. They've got to come out with some good PR or not. Maybe they really don't care. Maybe Carol Roth is right. There is a war. They don't fucking care about you. It's two tiers. The ultra-rich Jeff Bezos is fucking retired somewhere on some fucking cock-sucking island. And the rest of us that are getting pushed down into another semi-lockdown so we can all become underserved or low-income community members. So look, folks. I really don't know what else to say. This is very disappointing. But I trust the universe has a plan. So until next time, always remember, again, if you're looking for a loan or $2 million caps, you're fine. If you're low income and you suffered the losses, you're fine. If they open it up to 1.3 million people in middle income for the target advance because they still have $10 billion, you'll have a chance first come, first serve. But if that's not going to happen, then guess what? We need to keep fighting to get rid of the low-income fucking map, and we need S513 to go through. Are you listening, Jackie Rosen and John Corden? So until next time, always remember, I love you so much, and thank you for watching.